I thought I'd do a little review today. This is a 4.52 pellet sizer. The reason I bought it is because I thought it would improve groups at distance when actually it's totally the opposite and I shall try and explain why. Tinner JSB exacts. These ones are 8.44 grains, 4.52. Tin of JSB Evies, 10.3. Again, 4.52. And take a pellet out of here and get the lid off. So technically, just chuck a pellet in here and then poke it through and what that does is give, I'm not quite sure if you can see out there, a perfect rim which you would think, yeah, brilliant. I'll do the same with a heavy one, if I can get the lid off this one. As you can see for a 4.52 they actually drop down nearly halfway. Probably can't see it on here. Again push it through and again not quite sure if you can see it a perfect rim. So now this is the 8.4 grain that's put through the pellet tester. If you do the roll test, it almost rolls in a dead straight line. Now if you take one that's been unsized, straight out of the tin, and do the roll test, it's got a perfect half on it. Do the same with the heavy. And again, it's got a slight arc on it. And the one that went through the pellet sizer goes in a straight line. My theory is, when I start dropping things, is when you put it through the pellet sizer, what it actually does, yes it gives you a perfect rim, on the other hand, it makes the rim smaller. So what that does, at short distance, not too bad. But at longer distance, it destabilizes the pellet because it's made the skirt smaller. I'm going to stop dropping things. You can't, obviously I can't see it, I've got no calipers to measure it or anything like that. So, are they worth it? In my opinion, no. If you're only shooting maybe 25, 30 meters, maybe you'd be okay. But my findings are totally rubbish. Because it makes the skirt smaller, obviously the skirt is not acting as, I suppose, feathers on an arrow or something like that that keeps it stable. I've probably tried every experiment under the sun. I've tried washing, lubing, weighing, and in my opinion, they're no different straight out of the tin. In fact, they're actually better, in my opinion, my findings in my rifles that if you actually take the lubrication of the pellets they actually better to me if you i don't know whether you can see the difference here but this is a relative new tin as you can see they're a little bit more shiner than these ones well these ones here 
I've actually had the lubrication taken off them. These here are still slightly lubed. So the idea of washing, weighing, lubing is supposed to be able to get the best accuracy. Um, I suppose for some people it may work. But in my opinion, yes, washing probably a good idea because it gets rid of the, the swarf that you usually find in the bottom of the tin. Although these ones are pretty good. Uh, these ones, I know there's none in this anyway because I've sort of washed them and taken off all the lubrication. But getting the swarf off, good idea. You may get a little bit stuck inside which will technically make a little bit heavier um, but on the other hand lubing yes you can lube them it probably works for most people but in my opinion what I think that does is once you've lubed them um, you can have more lube on some of the pellets than you have on the others so generally you'll have some of the lighter pellets and some of the heavier pellets because the heavier pellets will have more lube on them that's just my theory. Hope you like the video. Not really a lot I can say in the matter about these, but in my opinion, I wouldn't buy another one. Thank you for watching.